Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. I'm coming to you from Minneapolis. And this week I was at a conference where a gentleman named Dana Kelly came up and said, you know, I draw a lot of three-point circles. And it kind of bugs me that AutoCAD always wants to go back and default to center radius. And I know exactly what he's talking about. He wants to be able to just very quickly continue to grab the three-point circle option. And I bet a lot of you out there have those favorite commands that you want to be able to grab ever so quickly. And I'm going to give you some pointers and how you can stop having AutoCAD boss you around and you can start bossing AutoCAD around. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, we're going to talk about this relative to those three-point circles. All right, so first of all, if I come up here and I grab, say, you know, I want to draw a three-point circle. I can draw my little three-point circle. You know, one of the bummers is, though, if I hit an enter to go back into the circle command, it doesn't default to three-point. It defaults, goes back to center radius, which is kind of a drag. Um, if I come up here, however, three-point circle will stay bubbled to the top. If I leave AutoCAD, however, and come back in, what happens? It goes back to center radius. So I'd have to click on three point again. You know, that's okay though, not too bad. Um, if I'm gonna draw a lot of three point circles, I could also do a right click on here and add that to the quick access toolbar so that three point circle is at the top of the quick access toolbar. That's also another option, so I could ever so quickly always just grab that. That's a possibility or you could start to boss AutoCAD around. Oh yeah, you could say, I want three point circle to always be the top option on the ribbon. How are you gonna do that? I'm gonna show you, you have to go into the CUI. Now the CUI looks scary. It's not as scary as it looks. It looks scary because there's so much stuff in it. So don't let it intimidate you. Super easy. I'm gonna go to ribbon and I'm gonna go to tabs. And then this is on the home 2D tab. And it's the draw tab. So you just need to know, you know, what are you going for? Which area, which tools do you want to start to boss around? And I want to boss around this circle tool. Kind of has a little heart attack there for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Here it says primary command. The one that's on the top is right underneath that center radius. I don't want that one on the top anymore. I want cent, no, I want three point on the top. You pick the one that you want. Let's move that one to the top. So now, whenever you come and leave and come back into AutoCAD, three points always gonna bubble to the top. So you can do this for any AutoCAD command. You can decide which one is going to be at the very top of the stack. All right, and then I go ahead and say, okay. Now, I can leave AutoCAD and I can come all the way back in to prove my point. But then you have to sit and wait. And this is a very short tip, so you're just going to have to believe me. All right, give it a try. <laughs> but believe me, if I leave AutoCAD and come back in, it won't be center radius anymore. It'll be a three-point circle, which is awesome. So then I thought, all right, I'm going to give him one more way to quickly draw three-point circles. How about a keyboard shortcut? I want to type something in to be able to quickly get there. All right, so a three-point circle's got a three in it. So I thought, well, I could do a control three, but control three's already taken, right? With with palettes, uh, tool palettes, we're not gonna do that. Um, how about a shift three? A shift three, of course, does the pound sign, but I don't need that unless I'm in text. And this won't affect, affect it when I'm in text. So let's go back into the dreaded CUI, all right? We're gonna add a keyboard shortcut. Super simple, go down to keyboard shortcuts. Okay, and then what command do I want to add to my shortcut keys? I want to add that three point circle. Here it is right here. Just grab this guy and pull him all the way. It doesn't matter where you put him. Just put him on there somewhere. <laughs> doesn't matter. And then you'll notice over here he doesn't have a shortcut key. We're going to give him one. Just click on those ellipses. You'll see if you type in a key, like if I do control three, it says, excuse me, that's already taken. You don't want to override that. I mean, you could, but you probably don't want to. Let's try shift three. And you could do whatever key combination you want. Ideally, you don't override an existing one, okay? Because that would be bad. Unless you don't care. Maybe it's one you don't use. You can override it if it makes you happy. If you override it, an existing one, you need to make sure that your shortcut key is higher on the list, though, than the one that already exists. Does that make sense? So in that case, it does matter where you are on that big, long list. All right, I'm going to say okay. Okay. And then I'm going to see, shift key for a three-point circle, hit an OK, 
cross your fingers, shake a few chicken bones. <laughs> now I am very simply going to make sure I'm at the command line. All right, I'm there. And I'm going to do hold down the shift key, and I'm going to do the three. Look at that, three-point circle. Wah, wah, wah. I am so happy. <laughs> See how easy that was? So what I did was I gave him all these different options for very quickly and easily getting to that three-point circle command. All right, so I bet you have your favorite commands that you want to make it really easy to get to. I gave you a few different options. Give it a try. Take control. Boss AutoCAD around. You. Yes, you. You are the boss. <laughs> I hope you have a great rest of the week. Thank you for joining me.